Hey everyone, Royal here, founder at Spur. And today we have made special automation flows for you on WhatsApp that will help you, you know, automate up to 60 to 70% of your incoming queries, right? Uh, in order to experience it, just scan this QR code and it will take you to this WhatsApp chat and then just send a hi or a menu or anything. Then it will send you a message which will have a bunch of options, right? A bunch of frequently asked questions that people ask your brand, let's say shop products. We can enable them to shop products right within WhatsApp. You can see there is this catalog right over here within WhatsApp. They can place an order through that and also answer questions like uh, managing order, tracking order, etc. Right. So yeah, uh, in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can actually connect this catalog with your WhatsApp account and also how you can set up these automation flows. So first of all, for connecting the uh, catalog with your WhatsApp number, go to settings of Spur, then go to WhatsApp. You'll find a link here, which is how to set up WhatsApp catalog. Just click on it and, you know, follow this guide. If you haven't already connected your catalog uh, with your WhatsApp account. All right, let's go back. Now coming to the automation part of things, how you can enable this automation flow for your brand. So just go to Spur, then go to your automation tab you'll find that you have a bunch of, you know, newly created automation flows that will be like WhatsApp catalog checkout, WhatsApp manage orders, and also WhatsApp main menu, which is exactly the message that you see here. This message, this is the WhatsApp uh, main menu flow. Uh, it is triggered whenever somebody sends a hi, hello, hey, or a menu, and uh, then they get this message with all of these options, right? So uh, all you need to do is, you know, open this WhatsApp main menu flow. Then let's say uh, the first option takes the customers from shop uh, product button to the WhatsApp shop products flow. So yeah, uh, we have essentially connected the main menu flow with other flows, right? And all you need to do is uh, just go to each flow, configure these flows, add your own brand language, you know, uh, edit some details that are specific to your brand. Maybe you can also, you know, let's say there is an option to add the size guide at the end of the main menu. But let's say your brand doesn't require a size guide or something. So you can replace this option with something else or you can remove this option altogether. Right. Uh, that's what you can do. All right. Now going back to uh, the uh, shop products flow uh, let, let's see how it is built right now so it is whenever somebody clicks on shop products they'll get this flow this flow has a bunch of options as well let's say the customer clicks on shop by product they will get this message right but uh, right now you will have let's say product category one product category two and product category three written here so your job is to enter the categories of your brand like replace that uh, default text with categories of your brand. For example, in this brand, we have entered categories like bracelet, earrings and necklace because this is a jewelry brand, right? Now, uh, whenever somebody will click on this button, they will get products right within WhatsApp, uh, the, the products that they want to see, right? So for example, whenever somebody clicks on bracelet or earrings, they will get this message. Now let's have a look at this message. This message is a product type message. Uh, you can click on plus send message and you'll see, see there is an option of product type message here. All right. Now here, what we are essentially doing is uh, we are searching whatever text is written here and then we are returning the uh, products that best match those results and then showing them right within uh, WhatsApp, right? So for example, here uh, it is last message. So whenever somebody clicks bracelet or earring, that particular message is sent from their number. So let's say they click on bracelet, we will search bracelet and show them the top 30 products that match that result. If they click earrings, we'll do the same. But let's say you want to select uh, like specific products when whenever somebody clicks on this. We also have an option for that. So in, in the necklace uh, option, we have connected it with uh, another send message. But here, instead of search keyword, we have selected select manually. Then you can manually select all the products that you want to send when somebody clicks this button and just, you know, send it to them, right? So yeah, uh, similarly, you can uh, do it for all of the other flows, edit the information and then go back and make all of them live. 